in this video I'm going to talk about another uh, useful property of signal uh, which is related to their symmetry um, called even or odd signals. Um, the signal is going to be called even signal if x of t is equal to its time reversal which is x of minus t and it's going to be called an odd signal if x of t is equal to minus x of minus t. So um, for the discrete time um, cases, it's going to, the signal will be an even signal if x of n is equal to x of minus n. And for the discrete time cases, the signal is going to be an odd sequence if x of n is equal to minus x of minus n. So for the first example, I have x of n, sorry, x of t, which is something like this. And the question is if that x of t signal is even, odd, or neither of those. So to do this test, we have to first of all find its time reversal function, which is x of minus t. And if we plot its time reversal function, that's going to look like this, which is similar to x of t. And therefore, we can say that this signal is an even signal because it has even symmetry. Um, let's take another example. Let's assume this to be our signal. And the question is if that's an even or an odd signal. Well, if I plot its x of minus t or the time reversed function, uh, time reversed counterpart of x of t, then I'll end up with this signal. And as these two are same, so therefore this signal is also an even signal. Let's take the third example where we have x of t which is something like this. And I have to tell if this signal is even, odd or neither of those. So if I plot its, um, uh, check if it's even or odd or neither of those, uh, we have to first of all draw its um, time reverse counterpart which is x of minus t and if you plot it we are going to get something like this. So this part is going to move or if, uh, this part is going to get reflected on this part this side of the origin and this part is going to get reflected on this side of origin to plot x of minus t. So if I do that I'll end up with this one. Now we can observe that these two signals are not same but if I flip this signal in this direction I'll end up with this signal here and the question is how do I flip this thing in the direction to do that I have to find x of uh, I have to find negative of x of minus t which is like the negative of this one and when I plot this thing I'll end up with and well this seems similar rather same as this one over here so we can see that x of t happens to be equal to x of minus t therefore this signal is an odd signal because it has an odd symmetry. Um, just a rule of thumb, this if the signal is an odd signal, if signal is an odd signal, then it it must pass through the origin. So in our case the signal x of um, 
T is actually passing through a region so we can hope that this may be an odd uh, but still we have to test it now this signal is not passing through a region so this signal is for surely not an odd signal it could be even or not for which we have a test and when we tested for it we found that this is an even signal so if you're asked to find a signal that has an odd symmetry then the first thing you can do is to check if it's passing through an origin if it is passing through an origin then you can do the rest of the part and see if this this statement is true or not but if if it's not passing through an origin at all then there is no need to do all this all this uh, mathematics and you can just say it's not an odd signal um, there is one more thing that if we are giving if we are given any signal we can find it's um, even an odd part and to do that we have two formulas so to find the even part of x of t we have to use this expression x of t plus x of minus t and to find the odd part of any signal we have to use this expression so that what this part says that if you're asked to find the odd part of x of t and if you're asked to find the even part of x of t so for the odd part of x of t you have to do this math x of half x of t minus x of minus t we can do one example where we can find the even and the odd part of a signal uh, let's say if we have x of n which is given by uh, this expression which is going to be 1 for n is non-negative and it's going to be 0 for all other values of n or w stands for otherwise so if that's x of n uh, find its even and odd parts so to find the even part um, um, let's just plot the signal first before we should move on uh, we can see that x of n is going to do something like this it's going to be 1 for n is 0 or greater than 0 and for any other values of n which is negative is going to be 0 so to find the even or the odd part we first of all have to find the time reverse counterpart of x of t which is x of minus t um, it's going to be x of minus n in this case because we are dealing with discrete time so let's find x of n minus so, so let's find x of minus n first Forth. so now to find the even part of x of n we use the formula x, even part of x of n equals to half x of n plus x of minus n so um, to find x of n plus x of minus n first we have to add this signal which is x of n into x of minus n in a sample by sample function by which I mean that you have to add the value of sample at this position with this value of sample at this position and uh, you have to add the value of sample at this position with the value of sample and this position and so on and so forth and if I do that I'm going to add 1 plus 1 that results into 2 divided by 2 is going to result into 1 so when n is 0 I'm going to get 1 and uh, when n is 1 I'll have 1 here 0 here 1 plus 0 is 1 divided by half is going to result 0.5 and the rest is going also going to be 0.5 um, for this side um, when n is minus 1 we'll have one value here uh, and the 0 amplitude there which adds up to 1 divided by half so divided by 2 is going to result in 2.5 so I'll end up with this function so this is the even part of x of n which is defined here and we can also see that the even part is 
actually an event signal, which makes sense. Now to find the odd part of x of n, I have to rather than add, I have to subtract. I have to subtract this from this. So to find the odd part of x of n, I have to do this math: x of n minus x of minus n. Uh, this is x of minus n, but we are interested in negative x of minus n. So let's plot negative x of minus n. So if I do that, I'm going to end up with this thing. And once I have found a negative x of minus n, I just have to add this with x of n in sample by sample fashion. So the value of x of n when n was 0 is 1 and the value of minus x of minus n when n was 0 is minus 1. So minus 1 and 0 adds up to 0 and divided by 2 is going to result into 0. So if I plot, I'm going to get 0 at n equal to 0. And when n is 1, uh, this part is 0 because it has no amplitude when n is 1. And this part is going to be 1 because when n is 1. So 1 plus 0 is uh, 1. Um, and if you take the half of it, I'm going to get 0.5 here. Similarly, it's going to be like this. And for this section, um, when n is uh, minus 1, I have uh, negative, n, uh, negative x of minus n is minus 1. So we have uh, we have minus one for this part, and then we have to add into it the value of x of n when n was minus one because we are plotting the value for minus one. For minus one, x of n is zero, so minus zero plus minus one is minus one, and half of that is uh, negative point five. Similarly, I'm going to end up with this thing. So that's an odd part of odd part of x of n signal, and you can observe that this odd part of a signal x of n is also an odd um, signal, which is uh, not surprising. Um, yeah, it's, that's that's all from my side uh, on the even and the odd signal. If you have any questions or queries, just leave them in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for listening.